All right. So we've learned how to download uh, samples, put them in a folder that FL Studio can read. We've plugged them into FPC. We've panned the toms and the symbols and everything. Now it's time to mix them. And I will put a link in the description to the website I use to mix my kick and snare and toms. Um, really cool website where he has uh, mixing recipes for each one. So, um, you want to go to your... I just get out of all this. There's your mixer. And here is FPC. Now, what you want to do is make sure you want to give each one of these pads their own slot in the mixer. So we're going to go ahead and rename this one the kick. Now I always make my drums yellow for some reason. I'm not sure. I'm going to make this one snare. And we're going to make this one the toms. All right. So, kick. Right now, FPC, the whole program is going to the uh, first slot in the mixer. So, oh, oh, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, my, um, my preset that I have, my metal preset, already has it uh, spaced out. So I'm going to load up a default that comes in FL Studio to, uh, to uh, kind of, you know, go ahead and do the process so it's not already done for you. So kick, snare, toms. They're all going through the first channel right now. So what you want to do... Leaf kick where it's at. You want the snare to be next. Go over here to output and drag it up to one. This will offset it by one channel. So now we have the kick on the first channel and the snare on the second channel. And you go ahead and do that for the toms as well. So they'll have the third channel. And uh, just I on my personal template that I use, every single sample has their own channel and their own mixing. But just for the sake of a short video, I'm just going to do kicks, snare, toms, and then the cymbals for everything else, really. So put everything else to four. No, stop that. That's a different snare. So we got kick, snare, turn, 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 turn. Oh. What happened there? Oh, that makes sense. Okay. That's fine, though. Yeah, I skipped a number, but that's okay. We're not going to mess with the other numbers. Okay. Kick, snare, top, 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 top. Now, you want to go to the mixer? click on kick and you want to load up first off a compressor um, I know there is a fruity compressor and I've I've turned off most of these uh, plugins for 
for for this things that I don't use. Uh, anyway, find a good compressor. Um, there's uh, videos on YouTube of free compressors you can download. There's some really good ones. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the compressor software that came with my uh, uh, audio interface that I got, Scarlet. <coughs> After the compressor, you want an equalizer, and after that, a little bit of reverb. So first, go to your compressor. For a kick drum, 6 to 1 is the kind of the golden standard. It's really hard to get on these. You want, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to that website on my other screen. Uh, kick drum, EQ, and compression. Alright, so on this, I'm going to go for the in your face kick drum compression. Ratio is 6 to 1. Attack is 3 milliseconds. Right about there. The release is 200 milliseconds. And the threshold. When you eek, when you compress your kick drum, go ahead and uh, throw a, a a sample or a beat in the piano roll, so you can listen to it. And you want to compress it so that you're not making it sound squeezed, like. You don't want to change the sound of it, you just want to make sure that it's not clipping. That's pretty good right there. Now for the EQ. You want to, uh, it depends on uh, you know what you want. There's three recipes here on this, uh, this website that I'll link in the description. And uh, right here, I'm gonna go for the ringy or the uh, solid full kick drum with plenty of kick. So he's asking for six decibels at 55 hertz. It has it doesn't have to be exact. Minus nine at 275. plus 7 at 3.7 thousand and then plus 8 at 6.2 thousand so immediately you can hear an improvement in sound to that sample just from doing that um, and after that, you can add a little bit of reverb. Uh, I just like doing... Just the simplest reverb that um, the, uh, the, the plug-in offers. Just a little preset, because you don't really want it to echo unless you're going for uh, like a 80s Def Leppard sound. Uh, you just want it to sound like it's in a room being played. Um, so there you have it, folks. Uh, that is pretty much the gist of EQing and mixing a uh, a sample to sound better in the mix. And uh, stop by that website that I linked. It has recipes for snare, kit, toms, vocals, pretty much everything but cymbals uh, for some reason. I'm still looking for cymbals. So if anyone has a really good tutorial for me on how to EQ and compress cymbals, shoot me a link. I'll definitely be glad for it. Thanks for watching.